Global geoengineering operations are an undeniable reality. Skies all over the planet are now almost constantly completely altered from the lingering, expanding, sky-blocking jet aircraft trails. The official narrative that this is all just condensation is a verifiable lie. Look closely at the characteristics of the jet aircraft dispersion captured in this short video. First, the inside left particulate dispersion nozzle appears to be misaligned. Thus, the dispersion trail is not parallel to the other three dispersions from the aircraft. The atmospheric wake of the aircraft pulls the particulate dispersion into a swirling pattern with an appearance very similar to smoke. Why? Because smoke is a particulate, the same as what is being dispersed from jet aircraft as part of the ongoing global solar radiation management operations. The length and consistency of this sprayed particulate dispersion formation is beyond alarming and is exactly the result that is called for in climate engineering patents. This patent, Stratospheric Wells-Box Seeding for Reduction of Global Warming, describes exactly what we can observe occurring over our heads day in and day out. To seed the atmosphere with light scattering heavy metal particulates in order to deflect some of the sun's incoming thermal radiation. This science publication diagram clearly shows a jet aircraft spraying particulates into the atmosphere. This is so-called solar radiation management, but at what cost to the planet as a whole does this so-called management come? Though climate engineering can create short-term cool-down zones, it comes at the cost of further fueling the overall planetary meltdown that is accelerating by the day. We're told by official sources that the humidity in higher elevations is conducive to, quote, condensation trail formation. This, again, is a blatant lie. Atmospheric humidity plunges to near zero at higher elevations. Higher elevation atmospheric humidity is precipitously declining, making already extremely dry higher elevations even drier. The light blocking, evaporation disrupting, moisture absorbing desiccant materials used in geoengineering operations are fueling this drying out of the upper atmosphere. We're officially told that we should expect to see long, lingering sun-blocking trails from modern jet engines. Again, also a lie. All commercial aircraft and all military tankers are equipped with a high-bypass turbofan jet engine. This engine is simply a jet-powered fan that's designed for maximum fuel efficiency. 85% of the air that passes through a high-bypass engine is non-combusted, just air. So, to be clear, by its very design, the high-bypass jet engine is nearly incapable of producing any condensation trail except under the rarest and most extreme of circumstances. The conclusion that commercial and military jet aircraft have been retrofitted with spray nozzles is not hypothesis, theory, or speculation. It's a verifiable fact which photographic and film evidence proves beyond any shadow of a doubt. What about the interiors of jet aircraft? For those who think that the jets in our skies only carry passengers, mail, or consumer goods, think again. What other agendas are the atmospheric spraying programs a part of? The agendas are many. The issue is complex, including over-the-horizon radar enhancement, communications augmentation, weather warfare, and biological testing. Every breath we take contains the toxic fallout in the ongoing climate engineering operations. How long can you hold your breath? Mainstream publications are increasingly being forced to address the question of geoengineering because the climate engineering crimes are now becoming all but impossible to cover up in plain sight. Do your part in the battle to expose and halt the climate engineering insanity. We must reach a critical mass of public awareness. That's the only way forward in this fight. Share credible and verifiable data with those around you. Ask them to do the same. Make your voice heard. This is Dane Wigington with geoengineeringwatch.org.